Hey guys, it's Dylan. So different video today. I just need to talk to you one on one about a massive problem that I am seeing and it has to do with Bitcoin maximalism. In case you don't know, Bitcoin maxis are basically the people that think Bitcoin is the only cryptocurrency. It is the only blockchain that matters. It's the only one that will be relevant. Anything not named Bitcoin is basically a you know what coin. Now, here's what they get right. I do think Bitcoin has the only chance at becoming a new global reserve currency, being a store of value, and in the future being that true peer-to-peer -peer cash system that is decentralized, not controlled by anybody, sometime in the future with the Lightning Network and these advancements that are going to essentially make transactions much more fast and efficient. So they get that right in a sense that Ethereum is not sound money, Cardano is not gonna be the global reserve currency, Dogecoin, no, it's either going to be Bitcoin or nothing. But here is the huge problem. I was on a Twitter space with Will Clement last night. There's probably 500 people in there and it was really full of Bitcoin maxis. And at one point it got really emotional. A couple of people wanted to ask questions about like, why are you discrediting Ethereum and Cardano and some of these altcoins or other digital assets? And really these Bitcoin maxis basically just started belittling these people saying that they're stupid, that they don't know anything, and they really need to go educate themselves before they can have an informed conversation. Instead of actually trying to present facts and data and try to help people see their perspective, they just got emotional and aggressive and it was a really ideological conversation. I requested to be a speaker for like 30 minutes and I was never approved. I'll never know why, but what I wanted to say is that you can't discount other projects. One, because they probably don't know half of the other projects taking place, definitely more than half. For example, Metablock, a company that is revolutionizing healthcare. They're taking your current data that is siloed across 10 to 50 different institutions, basically putting it on the blockchain, making it immutable, and giving you, the owner of your own medical records, access back. So when you go to the dermatologist or your family doctor or whoever, you have control of your records, you can choose to who you give it to, and you have control over it and nobody else. As it stands now, other people are literally selling your data and whether you want to believe this is happening or not, it's definitely happened before. So that's just one small company, one cryptocurrency project or blockchain that is solving a specific problem. Metablock is not trying to be the global reserve currency of the world. That does not mean it is worthless. That does not mean it's not going to exist just because it's solving a different problem than Bitcoin. But by far the most egregious oversight from them, in my opinion, was Cardano, a company who is peer reviewed. They have been methodically scheming basically for four years on exactly how to progress in the most scientifically verifiable way possible. A company, by the way, who is literally changing the entire ecosystem and economics of Ethiopia. They have that deal with the government. So they're giving basic things like identity to millions of people. And that's just the beginning with smart contracts coming, yada, yada, the whole Cardano story. These Bitcoin maxis are literally saying that Cardano is a joke. It has zero value. If it's not Bitcoin, it's worthless. And like from that standpoint, it's so irrational. It's so emotionally based. It's so unfounded. Like there will be multiple blockchains. There will be multiple cryptocurrencies. Maybe there's only one for payment. Maybe there's hundreds for payment. Like the truth is nobody knows the future, not me not the people in that Twitter space, not anybody. Sure, there are probabilities and estimates and guesses and all of that, but the fact is nobody knows. And so a red alarm bell should go off. If you hear somebody say, I guarantee you Bitcoin is the future. I guarantee you Bitcoin will be the only crypto, the only blockchain that matters. Everything else is gonna be built on Bitcoin. It's like, one, you don't want everything else to be built on Bitcoin. It's gonna increase the fees. It's gonna slow down the network. It's gonna muck up the system that is designed for store of value and potential transactions. Why would you wanna have Metablock 
some a company in a business that has nothing to do with Bitcoin, why would you want that built on the Bitcoin network? Sure, you could argue more transactions and higher Bitcoin prices, but if Bitcoin does become the global reserve currency, you're not gonna be worried about a small price change from a company like Metablock. But the reason all of this is a problem is because for the first time, the light came on for me that the opinions and the perspective and the education in the crypto space is so fragmented and so segmented and so emotional and cult-like now not everybody but way more than i thought and people that like i respected and i have been listening to for a few weeks at least that i really valued their opinions to hear them say things like this it really kills their credibility because they have complete blinders on so like i said bitcoin maxis get one thing right that if there's gonna be a new global reserve currency, it will be Bitcoin and nothing else. It needs to be proof of work, completely agree. Sound money, all that stuff. The, the single focus of Bitcoin, absolutely, that's the thing. But these other projects and these other cryptos are not trying to do that. They are solving different problems. And like Andreas said, Andreas Antonopoulos, in his book, The Internet of Money, he himself said years ago, like 2014, there's going to be probably thousands of blockchains and thousands of cryptocurrencies all solving new problems, just like with the internet. Well, with the internet, you had Facebook, Google, and all these different applications built on the internet. So with blockchain, there's going to be all kinds of different applications and they're not all going to be on the Bitcoin or in the Bitcoin network. And I'd even go further and say that yes, there are absolutely probably hundreds and thousands of scam projects that people have no business investing in. The risks are much higher, even with a project like Ethereum, where people basically think it's a guarantee it's going to succeed. Ethereum still definitely has a lot to prove with transitioning to proof of stake, with its solidity programming language, with its somewhat centralized network and leadership at the top. Like these are problems that they're going to have to overcome. The gas fees, all of that, like, None of this is a done deal, even the second biggest project. And I would definitely say that Ethereum has a lot more risk over the long term than something like Bitcoin. But having said all of that, <laughs> some of these other projects, like I said, Cardano and Metablock, and even one like Ecomi, where it's doing something completely different, like the, the digital collectible NFT game, that is not trying to be the global reserve currency of the world. So I don't know. I just have a real problem with people who have the blinders on, with people who aren't able to talk in facts and data with rational, logical thinking. They just get emotional and ideological about a topic and they're super dogmatic in their thinking and they're not willing to hear other opinions. And that's all these people were doing was sharing a different perspective. And these guys, these Bitcoin maxis were literally crucifying these people. And it was sick. And I, like I said, I tried to request to speak so I could share basically what I just said and a couple other points, but I was never approved to be a speaker. So what I'm getting at for the purpose of this video is to beware of tribalism, beware of cult-like mentality, if somebody says, I guarantee you this is gonna happen, don't listen to anything else that they say. They should have zero credibility because nobody knows the future. So the best way to approach a brand new frontier, a brand new investment class, a brand new potentially global currency years down the road is to have an open mind, be open to new ideas, continue to learn and to educate yourself and to surround yourself with people who are willing to change their mind, are willing to admit if they're wrong, are willing to look at what the data says and to continually challenge their own thought process instead of literally cutting people down that don't have the same opinion as you. But I'd be really curious to hear what you guys think. Are you a Bitcoin maxi? If you are, you're probably not still watching this video. And you know, what other projects do you guys like? Where do you fall on this spectrum? Am I the only one that's getting emotionally charged about this tribalism mentality? I don't know, but I needed to get this off my chest because like I said, I felt like I was being silenced last night, even though I just wasn't approved to be a speaker. But there was so much that I wanted to say about that topic and um, I didn't have the chance. So now you guys get to hear me rant. But uh, please like this video if you did. Share it with somebody that might be a Bitcoin maxi. I definitely would like to get a conversation started, but we'll see where it goes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have a great day.